Hi, hey girl, hey girl, hi. We are going to be doing a grocery haul. Yes, I am in my bonnet because first of all, y'all my friends and I don't get dressed up for my friends. Secondly, I'm in my whole house, in my domain. And secondly, no, that's thirdly, y'all know what I meant. Y'all not gonna be seeing my face anyway. You're just gonna be nosy and look to see what I got as far as how I spent my coin, as far as what I'm gonna be cooking, as far as what I eat up in here. So without further ado, here is my Trader Joe's and Target haul. $47 at Target and I spent $121 at Trader Joe's. Before you start getting all in your feelings and girl, you spend too much, it's only you. Da, 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 da. First off, mind yours. Mind yours. Secondly, I got a lot of pantry stuff that obviously I'm not going to go through. It's going to take me months to go through it, but it's stuff that you need in your pantry. So let's start off with the baby haul, which is Target. I can't believe this all cost $47, but <sighs> breathing through it. Anyway. I got some Mexican style classic shredded cheese. I'm gonna be making, I always pronounce it wrong, barilla tacos, bear the, I don't know. Girl, I'm making beef tacos. And the cheese that comes with it are that you're supposed to use originally is kind of like queso, but I kind of don't like the flavor of that. So I'm just gonna use this. I got my trio, my holy trinity, my other holy trinity, because I left work early on Friday and I know daggone well they threw away my creamer which was pretty much gone anyway. But I had half a thing of whipped cream and I still had at least four days on my oil, but I mean my syrup, but it's okay because that was my bad for not getting it. So we got the French vanilla coffee made, extra creamy whipped cream. And this is like a super sized can. Normally this is like short and stubby. This is like on some Tyra Banks type tall, but anyway. Got that and my favorite vanilla. I only like the vanilla and the salted caramel, but right now I'm stuck on vanilla. I got some regular schmegular cooking oil. I don't fry a lot of food, but when I do, this is what I fry with. I got some Dixie to go hot cups, cause y'all know I'm starting over. So I have no mugs. I broke my only tumbler that was really good cause I threw away the rest, but yeah, we, we gonna do better with this. Um, that's from Trader Joe's. I got some paper plates. I don't get my plates until next, the beginning of next month. I got me in an absolute chokehold and they are horrible for you, but when I'm at work and I'm dealing with people and emails and stuff, this hits the spot. So boom, got that. I got my Welch's fruit snacks. I only like the berries and creams just because yeah, so I got the family style because these last me for like a good, I ain't even gonna lie, this lasts me for like maybe three weeks because I be, I be eating these at home and at work. But that was all I got and that cost me dang near $50. Like, inflation is ridiculous. And boom, let's go to where I got in some trouble trouble, but I'm gonna point out where I got in trouble and why I really don't care why I got in trouble, but I'm gonna point it out. Anyway. I got three avocados, one that's like, I'm gonna slice open tomorrow and use, and the other two will last me the rest of the week. I'm gonna have those tacos, plus I'm gonna um, have some avocado toast, I've been craving it. I got a red onion, I got some cilantro to go with tacos, and I think I'm gonna put some on my avocado toast. We are gonna try some out. Anyway, I got asparagus that has absolutely no business being the vegetable to the meal I'm going to be making for Sunday, but I don't care. I was really craving this, so I'm getting, I know y'all hate when I do this, it's my fault. But yeah, wanted some of those. Every time I go to Trader Joe's, I get a salad kit. I think I used to get this one all the time, but I like it because it just looks very crunchy and it has cilantro, y'all know I love cilantro and avocado dressing whole win right here this is a goodie but oldie i get these every time i every time i go to trader joe's and that's the chicken cilantro mini wontons they are perfect and like you can get you like five or six good little you know you know how we used to have after school snacks this is my after work snacks this this is bomb so i got this this is one of the reasons why i'm in trouble and i blame sade because sade is my little cousin shout out to her she has a TikTok. if you're not following her there you definitely should but i completely forgot about these 
and she texted a picture in our family group chat of them. Plus, she put them on her um, TikTok. She does a whole bunch of Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's hauls. So I blame her for this because I forgot about them. And now I want them. So, yeah. I'm going to have this over white rice with asparagus. Like I said, this combo makes no sense. But that's what's going down because it's my house. Anyway, back to this. Another thing I blame on Sade. This wasn't this that much, actually. Not even going to lie. But I still blame her. This is the, um, now how do you guys say that? Barilla. I say Barilla, but the girl looked at me crazy in Trader Joe's when I said it. Like, she didn't understand me, but whatever. I'm going to be making this with some ta for Taco Tuesday, I believe. So, I'm going to tell you guys how that is. Then, this is one of my other favorites. I'm going to be making a meal. Just some simple linguine with pesto sauce. And I'm going to have shrimp. Which leads me into the second reason why I got in trouble. Between this and this, I think this was like $30. Just for these two items. But this is the best shrimp, y'all. The um, raw Argentinian red girl. Bomb. Saute with some butter and our olive oil. With some pepper. Red chili flakes. Um, garlic. Oh, yes. But I'm going to be frying some of these up. Or sauteing some of these up to go on top of this. Mix it together. It's going to be fire. This I've never tasted before. And I was like, oh, I can make this today. or No, not today. Sunday. And meal prep this for like my lunches. Maybe have a little bit of that with a side of the salad. Again, that makes no sense. But I always like to have like a vegetable. Even though those are vegetables in there. I just like to have a side of vegetables. But I was going to get compound chicken. But I was like, let me try this. Sometimes I be wanting some noodles. So got that got eggs y'all if you have not tried these shame on you okay first of all don't try them because you're gonna love them and like them and buy them out and it's gonna be sold out again and i'm gonna get irritated so disregard what i just said these chips are bomb the ghost pepper potato chips like you can't i don't want to say you can't taste it when you first bite into them but they will kick you dead in your throat after the fact so bomb if you like spicy food this is something I've never tried and or see, uh, saw before. It's the garlic and onion pistachios. I'm super excited for this. I love pistachios. Like a nice little snack. Got some eggs. That's boring, but like, girl, I got some eggs. I got the corn tortillas to go for the tacos and the onion and the cilantro. And I probably will cut up an avocado. Whole meal Tuesday. This is also what I blame Sade for because I'm gonna just stop watching her altogether. But anyway, I got the viral steamed dumplings. So I got pork and I got chicken because I didn't know which one I would like more. So I just got both Around to try. Here, this is like the area which obviously I'm not going to go through this stuff super quick. I always have soy sauce in my house because I make marinades. Soy sauce items. You see I got a lot of dumplings, pot stickers. You need that. Sriracha is a staple in my house. I like Trader Joe's sriracha. It's a little bit more tangier than the regular. But anyway, again, sauces, I put it on top of stuff. That's the keeper. This right here, must, 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 must have. Sweet chili sauce, bomb, okay? I got some spices. I got the 21 seasoning salute, which is basically a dupe for um, Miss Dash. So I got that. Their onion salt is bomb, and I got cayenne pepper because I didn't have any in my pan. Well, in my new pantry, I didn't have any. So, yeah, I got those. Now, this my homegirl told me about, but everyone is talking about this. So, I'm going to try it. I wanted to put it on my avocado toast. It's probably good to do, like, some kind of dipping sauce. So, I'm going to give that a try. I'll tell you guys how I love that. I'm sure I'll love it. This is also bomb. Focus, focus, focus. Okay, here it is. The um, organic blue agave syrup. Now, if you're trying to cut calories, which I'm not, <laughs> this is like a good substitute for honey. The reason why I got it is because if you can tell, it's not as thick. So when I put it in my tea, it dilutes faster. That is the only reason. Me being greedy is why I got this. Plus, it's like only $2.99. It's organic. You know, it's better for you, less artificial sugar. But it's really good. It tastes just like honey. I always end up getting this, which is the Sparkling Berry Lemonade. Super good, not too sweet. For the adults on my channel, a good mixer for a cocktail. I'm just drinking it straight up. 
but yeah. And then I had to get some body butter. If you know, you know, this is undefeated. I usually like to um, use this at night after I get out the shower, before I go to bed, really thick, a gem. Then I got some organic coconut oil. I'm gonna start using this for my teeth as a natural whitener, this and baking soda. So I'll put y'all up on game after I see my results. I'm gonna give myself a good week of doing that. Plus I put this on my skin, plus I put this in my hair. This is like multi-purposeful. Wow, purposeful. Multi-purpose. Stop acting like y'all don't understand what I'm trying to say. But that's the staple. Then I got some French loaf. I was gonna get sourdough, but girl, the sourdough loaf was like, I wanna say $7.99. Like, have y'all lost y'all? I love Trader Joe's, but y'all really tripping. Y'all trying to do too much, but we gonna make our um, avocado work with this French loaf. Nor I'm not gonna go through this. I don't even eat bread like that, but probably what you should do if you shop at Trader Joe's and you don't have a big family, you know you're not gonna go through it. Just take out the slices you're gonna use. I'm probably gonna take out four to five and I'll freeze the rest. This freezes perfectly fine. Just put this in a freezer Ziploc bag. Trust me. Trust me. But yeah, y'all, that's how I spent my money and on Starbucks. But that's how I spent my money. Again, Trader Joe's was 121. Target was 47 and change. I'm about to put all this up and then sit down and enjoy that. Until next time, bye friends.